The numbers are in and the Audi e-tron is the safest electric car in 2019 beating out Tesla or is it? Are all the numbers really in? Now, I don't want to take away from uh, this big achievement for uh, the Audi e-tron and really all electric cars out there, as we know, normally they are safer than gas cars just because there's not a humongous engine coming at you when, you know, you're you're you're, you're hitting somebody head on. Uh, but uh, at the same time, I kind of want this to be fair. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about what happened and what really didn't happen. I think that's really the... Um, the issue we should be talking about. So let's uh, watch uh, some uh, videos of Audi e-tron hitting the wall in slow motion coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click uh, on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, so Audi e-tron is officially got the 2019 Tom's top safety pick plus now i don't know what plus stands for as a matter of fact every time i see a plus it makes me a little nervous because right away there are two questions right like first of all well now that we're in a plus territory how many pluses are out there and secondly if there's a top safety pick plus what does it mean for the top safety pick is it really not one then but it looks like this is the top owner for the um audi e-tron they released a bunch of uh, uh, uh crash uh, videos uh which is uh, painful to watch a lot of times but listen you know electric cars are designed just better for uh just because of the crumble zone right a lot of times especially for the front end collision uh you know there's no engine that's coming at you and also this car scored pretty good about avoiding a crash at about 25 miles an hour when it sees something that actually uh pretty much avoids crashing into it so this was all good because they pretty much scored in uh, all of the uh all of the categories and top rating so that's awesome by the way uh, when this video was posted on youtube i looked it up and it actually has four dislikes now i understand why people dislike my videos sometimes i mean my shirts are not always ironed out. My hair is not always perfect. So I get it. But the crash test videos, like who, who, who says, oh, gosh, darn it. I just hate when, when they're trying to keep my kids safe and those cars that are making. I, why? Anyway, that just proves that haters are everywhere. But uh, let's, uh, let's watch some, uh, some other videos. But, you know, this is, this, is, this is a good achievement. Now, but here's the, uh, and by the way, uh, there, there are some, uh, there are some crash uh, uh, um, uh, pictures there. There's a lot of stuff that 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 came out of the front of the car. And also, I gotta, I gotta give props uh, to the uh, crash test dummies. Check out those shoes. Not only they're cool shoes, it will probably match this outfit, but also uh, they're nicely tight, which you can't say about most people here in Sacramento where I live because they mainly. Uh, wear flip-flops anyway so and another uh, uh, uh crash picture that i thought i thought was interesting because it literally looked like they hit a clown while testing uh, the crashing this car anybody sees the clown face like in bay right okay anyway i digress so let's talk less about creepy clowns and more about uh, how does tesla how did it lose out to uh to this uh to audi e-tron not that it couldn't have ever but you know the tesla's always uh, tested pretty well with uh, uh with safety ratings so what happened to tesla before i tell you a quick reminder that this video and uh, this channel is sponsored by byton check out their all electric suv coming to the us and europe starting at only forty five thousand dollars before the incentives but look how fast it is to make a reservation mainly because there is no uh, payment section it's right it's free to make a reservation it takes about i don't know look 30 seconds of your time so go to the description of this video and reserve your byton today all right now let's talk about uh, what happened with uh, teslas well apparently they have not been tested so this is one of the uh, twitter posts from the uh, insurance institute of highway safety uh, saying test of the 2019 tesla model 3 commence next week with a side crash test first of all how long does it really take to put all those uh, you know I, I know it's more complicated than that but guys we're in august of this year now so uh what have you been doing uh if not testing the cars i mean if you're going to be giving out their words for this year you know, this is for us to know as consumers so we can buy or not buy this car or the other. Uh, you know, we only have a few more months until they're just not going to be on sale, especially Tesla's. So, and also Tesla Model X wasn't tested at all. Now, the Model S has been tested a while back. Uh, it didn't really uh, earn the ratings uh, that Tesla wanted. Well, they didn't they wanted much better ratings. And they actually replied uh, uh, with a pretty harsh words uh, towards IHS, basically saying, we're not stupid, you're stupid. 
Well, they actually phrased it a little bit better than that. They just basically said, while IHS and dozens of other private industry groups around the world have methods and motivations that suit their own objective purposes, and I'm going to pause here now because I should mention in all fairness that IHS is a nonprofit organization. So profits is really not one of their objectives. But we go on. Tesla uh, said the most objective and accurate independent testing of vehicle safety is currently done by the U.S. government. Well, uh, a while after that, U.S. government told Tesla that they don't like how Tesla is using their objective testing. Now, I made a video about this. I call complete BS because it was over this chart. Uh, that was really created by NHTSA uh, and Tesla user data, but NHTSA threw kind of a hissy fit and they were talking back and forth with Tesla. But I'm just saying that apparently, uh, you know, not only uh, test, you know, testing agencies are, are in a perfectly great relationship with Tesla. And listen, this is not the first time Tesla was rightfully called out for their safety issues. For example, last year, Consumer Reports pointed out that uh, the worst testing facilities of Tesla's are actually belong to Tesla. Uh, they've tested the Model 3 and realized, and I'm just going to quote right here, that Tesla's stopping distance of 152 feet from, 50, uh, from 60 miles an hour was far worse than any contemporary car we've ever tested and about seven feet longer than the stopping distance of a Ford F-150 full-size pickup truck. That's right. Tesla was making a uh, Model 3 for almost a year at that point, like eight or nine months, uh, when they realized that uh, the, the, the stopping distance was absolutely awful and they had to push an over-the-air update to actually fix this problem. Now, uh, so I'm just saying, all of this back and forth between Tesla and the testing agencies uh, is, is not really good. Now, what, what the previous scandal or whatever back and forth uh, exposed is that NHTSA's methods were pretty bad. As a matter of fact, I don't even know what they're doing with their testing because uh, they didn't want Tesla to use their data because the data was flawed, right? Now, uh, so there are problems there, but at the same time, talking trash about every time you don't get a perfect rating, uh, you know, I would say a little beneath classy organization that Tesla should really be, but whatever. Now, the, my point here is um, Tesla was really never tested in 2019 to even compete with the e-tron or any other car. So it's kind of like getting an A+. Plus in a class when you're the only one who was given the test in the first place and all the good students have really not been able to have it. So that's, that's the caveat that I wanted to talk about here. And again, uh, this is really on IHS rather than on e-tron or an Audi because listen, this is great news for everybody. This is great news for, you know, and I'm happy that this is Audi because um, I gotta tell you, love them or hate them, and I know they're part of a Volkswagen group and all that stuff, but they are running as fast as they can away from the diesel gate, producing pretty damn good cars with Audi, uh, um, uh, Volkswagen itself, and, and Porsche's coming out next month. So got to give them some credit. And unlike many other legacy manufacturers, they are actually putting their uh, money where their mouth is. They've been doing a lot of advertising. Um, now, not like this. I mean, that's like this, but that was a little too desperate when we when it lo looks like they were uh, some of the dealerships were advertising uh, e-tron at the superchargers for uh, for Tesla. But, uh, you know, they put a lot of money like into this uh, Super Bowl ad. Now, I know they're way off because they're not even advertising the available electric car that they have, which is an e-tron. They were actually advertising the e-tron GT, which is not even available for reservations yet. I was lucky enough to drive one uh, uh, last year. Uh, and also, this ad doesn't even suggest that this is an electric car in the first place. Um, now, I got to tell you, when I drove e-tron early this year in Spain, um, you know, I, I was impressed, as you can see here, I'm uh, test driving it on the off course, uh, um, off road course. And, I, and I, I'm actually discussing this with Eli Burton of my Tesla adventure in one of my videos later this week, um, you know, because it looks like uh, e-tron is actually better at the off roading that uh, Model X. And again, it's a discussion to be had, but love him or hate him. Audi e-tron has done pretty good. Um, yes, they had a recall, but that was actually a good thing because um, that nobody no, no, nobody caught fire. Uh, they successfully went through that, and I think they're actually finishing it up this month. Um, so, uh, and, you know, I, I run one of the Facebook groups that I run is for the new e-tron owners, and everybody pretty much loves it. There are some issues here and there, of course, just like there are issues with Teslas um, that I'm also running at uh, Facebook group for, as a matter of fact, a couple of them. But... Let's kind of stop here and celebrate the Audi e-tron and, uh, and, and really the uh, achievements of the electric cars. And let's uh, call out IHS for not 
testing all of the electric cars before you know doing this uh and when it's really the second part of 2019. now the program that we're here at e4 electric are running uh, is called uh, feed a youtuber look at this guy just for five dollars a month you can uh, provide him with shelter water and some really awesome video equipment that he really does need as you can probably tell so uh, go to patreon.com slash e4 electric to make your donation by the way you can also watch me live uh so that's that's probably the best perk uh, that i think there's because you're the first ones to see these videos oh and of course if you just don't want to save this guy right here you can still get something uh for free if you don't want to spend your money that's fine we have something uh well it's a second thing for free in our uh, uh description of this video one of them of course is the biden reservation but the second one is the our vip list you can get on our vip list you get a bonus story at the end of each week something that we couldn't fit into uh, all of the stories that we do here on the YouTube channel or e4electric.com. So you can go to e4electric.com slash VIP and sign up there. All right. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this story. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.